Hey everyone, what's up, Earth Collectors here. We're opening up 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. These are monster boxes or mega boxes. Topps seems to be calling them monster boxes now, at least on the Fanatics website. Uh, but most people know them as mega boxes. They have 10 exclusive X Fractor parallels inside of one of these boxes. Uh, and they run 60 bucks, or generally speaking. Um, at Meyer, they were 65 bucks. I picked up one box from Meyer just for fun, but I bought some off the Fanatics website when I had a coupon. They were, I don't know, about 60 bucks delivered roughly um, with the coupon that I had. So I think they're 10% off coupon. So after their handling fee and shipping and all that, you get you know, a little bit of a break on the price. Not too much though. Uh, anyway, so let's get into this. These, of course, are uh, the mega boxes where you get, oh, 42 cards. You get seven cards per pack, six cards per uh, pack, seven cards, excuse me, seven packs per box, six cards per pack, 42 cards in all. And then you get the 10 exclusive x uh in there uh, and a chance at autographs, a chance at parallels. These have been looking pretty good. I opened up one earlier on the channel and... Um, as usual, my background is getting knocked down. Um, and they uh, it performed pretty well overall. Uh, not anything too crazy, but definitely not a bad rip. So let's see if we can pull anything, uh, any big monsters out of here. Hopefully some kind of a parallel. Look for fat cards in there. So I was looking for the fat ones. And if you have a fat one, you usually have a parallel or an autograph. Uh, lots of good rookies in here. Many good rookies out of this set. Oh, nice. There's an Otani. So that could be a $40 a buyback if he wins the MVP. And, of course, he is injured. So DL Hall, not a $40 card. But that's a nice one. Uh, Shohei Otani, um, MVP uh, potential. And if he is, they have the MVP MVP buyback program with Topps Chrome. Now, it's only Topps Chrome, not Topps uh, Chrome Platinum. So just keep that in mind. It's not Series 1, Series 2, only Topps Chrome. All right, if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you're all doing well, enjoying the baseball season and now the football season. I am wearing my Lions hat while I'm making this video because the Lions did play well last night in their preseason game. Just in case you were wondering, there is a beautiful looking Julio Rodriguez Future Stars and we have a CJ Krohn X Fractor and that's not a bad one either. He's having a pretty decent season. Mr. Brian for the Red Sox. My Red Sox Playing better than expected this year. There's Mookie Betts. He just came back. Also potential for uh, MVP with him. Um, let's see who else we have in here. Uh, doesn't look like anything thick. How about a rookie? Yes, we have a rookie here, but not the rookie we're looking for. Uh, not any big name there. But so far, it's been a decent box. Just that one Otani alone makes it a pretty solid box, which is crazy um, with the MVP, MVP, if I can't even say the word, buyback program. Uh, it definitely adds value to these boxes for sure. And I think that's why people are ripping them. Not only that, but you have a chance to pull some monster cards of rookies out of here. There's an Anthony Rizzo X-Fractor. And these, I think these mega boxes are a lot of fun. Um, retail overall has been you know, pretty solid, but um, it's not going to guarantee you any massive hits out of here. But we do have a, it looks like a refractor and a insert. So there's a Xander Bogart's insert. And, oh, nice. Refractor of Corbin Carroll. That's pretty sweet. And Zach Gallon. So there was, there's a refractor. And if you're new to card collecting and aren't sure if it's a refractor, just look up there in the corner. You'll see refractor, but it is definitely more shiny than other cards so that is a nice one so overall with two packs left to go this is a pretty solid box for sure hold on one second all right so let's see what we get out of these two um as usual every time i make a video the dogs 
want to come in. So the oldest dog gets to come in because she is the one who lays nice under the table and usually doesn't cause a ruckus. We have a puppy. The puppy is a year old and he's a good dog, but he is a little more energetic. All right. So we got a purple. Um, is it a, oh, it's one of these Sonic. Is this Judge? Nope. Anthony. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Anthony Volpe. Um, sonar. Is it called Sonar? Sonic? Sonar? I don't know. Something like that. And then there's an Oswald uh, Peraza. So that's going to be numbered to 275. So that's not bad. This is a actually very good box. Just those three cards alone. Um, and I'll show you those in a moment. We'll get into the second box. But yeah, wow. Pretty good to get a numbered card and the purple seem to come out of retail quite a bit i don't know i don't think they're exclusive to retail but they do come out of uh, retail quite a bit let's see what else we have in here don't see anything that appears to be thick the white border on these chrome cards will show you that it is going to be an autograph so here is a refractor anthony rizzo and we have mitch hanniger and then we have a cedric mullen so that was pretty solid. I mean, just these three cards alone, definitely, I would believe, paid for the box. Volpe, Corbin Carroll, and Otani. All right, next box. Let's get into this one, see how this one does. Like I said, one of these was from Fanatics, and I believe you can still order them on the Fanatics website for $59. Um, and I, I haven't seen them on Walmart's website, but I believe they're $60 at Walmart. At least they were. The blasters at Walmart were $40. Um, now, you can still buy blasters off of the Walmart website, but they are from different companies. They're not exact. They're not shipped right from Walmart. So uh, that is something that is interesting. But they're $35. But the ones you buy at the store at Walmart, I believe, are $39.99. That's the same price that they were at the Meyer that I was at today as well. All right. So next box, let's see what we get. In this one, there's a Bryce Harper, a Mount Castle, and we have a David Villar, followed by a Juan Soto X-Fractor. So some of the packs have two X-Fractors. Some of the packs have uh, just um, one, which is kind of interesting, but you get 10 in all. All right, there's Andrew Benintendi, and of course, it has to do with the amount of packs you get, and the 10 X Fractors doesn't equal out to one per pack, so there's not 10 packs. Oh, yes, yeah, so I am a math genius, I will say that. Here we have a Tyler Freeman rookie card. All right, well, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll be posting more Chrome videos, hopefully, in the near future, as well as anything new that is coming out. Looking forward to ripping some Allen and Ginter when that comes out, but haven't seen any updates on that other than sometime in September. There is a Bryce Harper Titans insert, and behind that we have an Andrew Benintendi Refractor, and then an Eloy Jimenez X-Fractor. All right, so far this box has not performed, outperformed box number one. But at least it gives you a good sample size. You get a couple of these, 120 bucks plus tax roughly is what you're going to pay. Are they worth it? Are they not? What is your opinion? Uh, comment below. What would you rather open, blasters or these? All right, there's a Tiasca Hernandez and an Alex Bregman. Hopefully we get a colored card or even better, a colored autograph of one of the top rookies that would be amazing um, what they did this year with chrome i really like overall how they have all the there's a like corbin carroll rookie card so on top of his um refractor we have a base rookie too so there's a, a diaz alexis diaz all right two packs to go and this box is looking pretty weak so far. There's that David Villar again. Kyle Tucker. And we have a Yvonne Herrera refractor. Uh, Jonathan and Mr. Jazz Chisel. All right. All comes down to this last pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. This has not been a very good box. And I don't know if it is going to be good at all because I don't see anything thick in here. 
which is too bad. I wish they would throw at least one good card in here. Now, unless I missed something, maybe I missed a short print or a variation of some kind, but I don't think so. Um, Castillo. So, um, nothing in the box. Didn't miss any packs, just making sure. Nope, no, nothing in there. So, yeah, nothing in that mega box at all. That's rather disappointing. So don't think that every box you're gonna open is going to include a hit. The first one definitely was good, but overall that second one had almost nothing in it from what I saw. Let me know in the comments below what you think um, was that a good buy? Was that a horrible purchase? Um, what do you think of Topps Chrome Retail? Uh, I still wonder if some stores have better boxes than others. I know it's uh, strictly speculation. I'd be curious to see what these uh, boxes do from uh, Fanatics versus what they do from like a Walmart, let's say. Are they different? I've seen that in the past where some stores just get better boxes than others. And, it's, and it goes by chains. It goes by like Walmart, Target, whatever. And then it, other times it has nothing to do with it. And I know it does sound kind of weird to say that, but I've seen it in the past. We've been doing this for years. Um, and so sometimes you just don't know where to buy the cards from. Um, and oftentimes it does lead to better results. So if I can figure that out and have any kind of scientific or uh, statistically based evidence for that, I will let you know in a future video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. In the meantime, take a look at that Tony Gwen in the background. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.